Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the exception processing message error code 0xc0000135 that you're coming across when attempting to launch an application or a game on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but for this tutorial, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And into Google, I'm going to type in Microsoft Visual C++ 2015. And I'm going to search that up. One of the best matches should be for a Microsoft domain here. We're going to go ahead and open that up. It should say download Microsoft Visual C++. And you want to go select the download option here. So if you're running a 32-bit version of Windows, you want to select the Times 86 edition. If you're running a 64-bit, select the 64-bit one. Most people are going to be running the 64-bit one. I'm on a 32-bit computer here, so I'm going to select the 86 version, and then I'm going to select Next. And it shouldn't take very long to download, only about 13 and a half megabytes. And once it's done downloading, you just want to click on it one time to open it up. You can minimize or close out of your web browser as well. Select Run. You want to agree to the license terms and then select Install. So I already have it installed on my computer, so it's obviously not going to let me install it again. But otherwise, I would suggest just following along with the on-screen prompts at that point, And that should hopefully be able to resolve the problem. If you are still having an issue, you can attempt to close out of here. And let's say you were able to find the executable file that you're having the problem with. So let's just say it was like Firefox, for example. So let me just search for that in my start menu. And I'm going to open up the file location here. So let's just say we're having an issue with the Firefox here. And we were to go ahead and open up the file location for that. You want to go right click on the file and then select the properties. Select the compatibility tab. And then underneath compatibility mode, check mark where it says run this program in compatibility mode 4. Click inside the drop down here and select Windows 7. And then select apply and OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here and attempt to launch the application again and see if that resolves the problem. One further thing you can attempt to, would be to run a couple commands. So let's open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. The first one is sfc space forward slash scan now. I'm going to just copy from my description and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right clicking on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that command. It will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And there will be another command we're going to run after this one.
Okay, so once that command is done running, you want to go copy the second command from my description and run that one as well. Okay, so once that completed successfully, I would suggest closing out of here and any open programs and applications you may still have open. Restart your device and hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.